But another con controversial question, because I've got to ask these. Um, some people say you can't be a good hacker or a hacker unless you know how to code or program um, in Python or something. And some some people say you you don't need to. Um, I quoted like in the, the, this quote that you got at the back, the difference between script kiddies and professionals is that you can create your own tools. So is that right? I mean, what are your opinions and, you know, I like to just get like the raw opinions of people who are in the field and who have gone through, you know, through this. What, do you feel it's it's necessary? Do you feel it's it's going to help you? You know, what's your? I mean, I'm assuming you're going to say yes for Python, but like, what do, what are your feelings and your advice to young people? I feel that there's a lot of hacking that I don't know about. The hacking that I've seen, I think you need some programming, but I don't know that you have to because there's so many different types of hacking. Some some web hacks i don't think you need that much code you need to understand what you're looking at but you might not need to be an expert in it but yeah for me and what i've seen i needed to, to know programming but i'm biased because that's what i know to begin with um i don't know how i would look at it if i didn't know programming so i would say yeah it, it would help to to know enough code to to write your own scripts and understand other people's but maybe you don't have to be a professional, though. Yeah, I think that uh, at some level, you don't need it. But it is a force multiplier if you are good at writing code. Uh, it will make you um, it will make you better in a sense of being able to automate tasks that might chew a bunch of time. Uh, it will make it so that you can debug and troubleshoot things, uh, even in your own tool chain. If you have a commercial tool that you've purchased that you use for web scanning or penetration testing or anything, uh, being a developer, even when filing bug reports to those vendors can be useful, right? Um, there's a ton of different ways, but I'm always really cautious that I never want anyone to feel like I shouldn't be a hacker because I can't code because that's just not the case. And I worked with some extremely skilled people um, that didn't really know how to code um, or weren't extremely proficient at it. They wrote 99% of their code was in assembly. You know, they never really had to leverage uh, any kind of higher level or interpreted language like Python. Uh, and they were amazing. Right. So um, I'm always conscious of like not trying to pigeonhole people or make them feel like they can't pursue a particular path because I know that I guess I know that feeling where it's like, oh, I shouldn't do computers because I'm bad at math, which was actually totally nuts. Right. Uh, uh, something I had to mentally overcome. So, yeah. But knowing Python or any programming language is going to be useful for you. Definitely. I like what you said there. I mean, it, it cybersecurity hacking whatever is is a vast field and there's so many opportunities for so many people of different skill sets and different uh, you know um, strengths and weaknesses and I, I like what you said that don't let the naysayers and all the other people stop you because um, if you listen to them you're not going to do and discover what you're good at do what you're good at and do what you enjoy um, I know you, you you're really like open for trying to get more people to you know, get involved and not limit themselves. So I think that's great advice. Tim, I like I like what you said. You know, you, you come from a developer background. Um, I've done some dev in the, in the past, and I find that, you know, Justin, as you said, it, it really helps you if you understand even some basics of code in so many places. Um, I like working with Scapey just allowed me, as an example, as a as a network like focused person, if you like, to do things in a different way and understand things. It allows you to you know, go deeper rather than just using a tool like Nmap, you can actually understand what's going on and manipulate it in ways that you couldn't do if you didn't understand code. So yeah, it's, I, I like that, it's, it can really help you.